every grandson grows up with a certain image of his grandfather deeply imprinted into his mind. It is that image when you close your eyes that that image comes into your imagination. It is that one image that captures the diversity and the richness of one's personality and passions and excitement. For me, that image of my grandfather, Pamoktar, is the image of myself walking into his room. And there he is, seated on his study, with his back towards me, pen in one hand, books on his desk, with the most neatly written Mandarin characters that unfortunately I don't read. <laughs> and there he is, thinking about the future. In that one image is a man of discipline, is a man of principle, is a man of dedication, and probably most of all, a man of the future. Those of us here who are fortunate enough to know my grandfather know that Pamoktar is not interested in the past. Pamoktar is a man at 87 years old who continues to look towards the future. He is excited about the future, enthused, tickled, enchanted, and he's always looking into the future. But it is this part of Pamoktar that I think makes this event today here and the book launch particularly meaningful. Because this book is a rare moment when Pamoktar actually pauses and reflects on the past. Growing up with Pamoktar, I never hear a lot of his past. He doesn't enjoy talking about his past. He doesn't bask in the past. He's always looking towards the future. So it is in this book that actually I also learned so much about my grandfather. Not only is he a man of the future, but his future orientedness is very much rooted in the values of his past. And the ability to straddle the past and the future is maybe what makes Pamoktar the man he is today. This book is a combination of about a year, about a year's time when Pamoktar would take out a few hours each morning and would write and would reflect on his past and put together a story that is my life story that you have in front of you today. So with that in mind, please join me in turning our attention to a short introductory video that we prepared um, that hopefully will give you a bit more color on the book uh, that we have come here today to celebrate. This is the story of a man and of two countries. This is a story of faith and of family. This is a story of extraordinary times and an extraordinary man. This is a story of a legacy, a legacy of ideas. This is the story penned by the hand of one of Asia's most successful businessmen. This is My Life Story by Mokhtar Riyadi. If, if you read that book, you will also come to realize that that image of the man on his study, studying, working, looking into the future, is an incomplete story of Pamoktar. Because as much as Pamoktar is that, Pamoktar is also a man of family. What I should also tell you is that as he's on that table, the moment he realizes that somebody else is in the room, in a second, he'd put down everything that he's doing. He'd take you to his living room, and he would engage you. He'd engage you, he'd talk to you 
for hours sometimes. And so Pamukhtar is that. He's not only a man of the future and a man of business, but also a man of family. But Pamukhtar is also not only a man who believes in the innate power and creativity of the individual as he himself embodies. He is also a man of community and partnerships. And throughout his 87-year journey, he has worked with many people in partnership to build what he has built today.